Are you addicted to stress? No, you're not. Are you addicted mm -mm. to... Nope. Could you stop interrupting me? Stop asking if people are addicted to stress. You make it sound as if it's a thing. Yeah, but it's just my intro. Change your intro then. Stop interrupting me. There is a strong link between stress and addiction, but it's not the one you've been told. I had a big discussion lately with someone who was supposed to know better and who claimed people are addicted to stress. I tried to explain to the person that wasn't a thing. Anyway, it made me curious and I started to look where he could have gotten this ID. So I went online and what I saw shocked me. You know, so-called experts talking about stress addiction. I even went to stress.org and there it was. A full article explaining how we are addicted to stress. I mean, it would be fair to assume that when your website is called stress.org, you kind of know what you're talking about, right? Apparently no. Kirk, behave. Well, I'm just stating the obvious. Stick to the facts. Okay, you want facts? Here are facts. Once and for all, you cannot get addicted to stress. There's addiction to substances like nicotine, alcohol, cocaine, sugar, and so on. There are also behavioral addictions, also called process addictions, where you get addicted to a specific action, such as gambling, playing video games, watching porn, and so on. But not stress. Stress is not a substance. Stress is not a behavior. It's how your body reacts to an external stimulus, to a perceived danger, hence no addiction possible. To develop an addiction, you need dopamine. Dopamine is a neurochemical involved with pleasure and anticipation. It's responsible for the feeling of craving because of how dopamine works. It leads us to uh, seek each time stronger exposure to a stimulus to obtain our same dose of pleasure, aka dopamine. That's how we get addicted. With stress, there is no pleasure involved, but pain, usually psychological pain, anxiety, depression, and so on. There's no craving for stress. There is no anticipation to it. Nobody is thinking, oh great, I'm going to get all stressed out at work today. Now, to be fair, recent research has shown that we do release dopamine when under stress. It's complicated. But under stress, its role is quite different. More about that in a minute. So, why are people saying they're addicted to stress? They're not addicted to stress. Yeah, you made your point. But why is it then that people think they are? Because... They are addicted to the activity that generates stress. For example, for their work, people often find themselves in a high pressure environment. It is possible to experience stress under such circumstances. And it is also common under the right circumstances to experience the flow state. This flow state is an altered state of consciousness, which is highly dopamine driven and thus highly addictive. So, it is not the stress people get addicted to, but the flow experience that comes with a high pressure environment. That's what gets people hooked. By the way, if you're interested in how the flow state works, I'm going to give away 10 copies of my course on how to find flow in a moment. But before that, I just wanted to make the point that, as I was saying, uh, there is actually a direct link between stress and addiction. And it has nothing to do with being addicted to stress. See, when we're under stress, smokers will more easily smoke a cigarette. If you drink alcohol, you'll happily drink a glass of alcohol at the end of a stressful day, right? Research has shown extensively how, when under stress, we do become way more vulnerable to develop drug abuse and addiction. When under stress, the connections to our prefrontal lobes get interrupted. Now, the prefrontal lobes are important because that's where we regulate our emotions and do impulse control. That's where we say no. Without it, we succumb more easily to temptation. And so, when under stress, we'll indulge more easily into these addictive habits. This is where the dopamine comes in. With stress, we release glucocorticoids, um, cortisol. And it is this cortisol which tampers with our dopamine circuits and establishes addiction-related neuroplasticity. Under acute term stress, the dopamine reward hits harder home. And under long term stress, it is blunt. Okay, English, Gurk, talk in English. 
when under stress, our brain rewires itself in such a way that we enjoy more our drug of choice in the moment of stress, but later we'll need more of it to get the same result. The perfect recipe for addiction. So no, we're not addicted to stress. But you could say we're stressed to addiction? Stressed to addiction? Yeah, no, that didn't come out right, did it? What's with the faces all the time? What face? The... Yeah, 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 oh, that. Yeah. No, that's nothing. Just some experiment I'm doing. Experiment? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can turn you into a cocaine addict by stressing you out. Fancy a line? Anyway, okay, this week I'm giving away 10 copies of my course on flow. Probably one of the most exciting states of consciousness to experience. If you want the chance to win your copy, do the next three things. One, like this video. Two, leave a comment below about how you have experienced the flow state. Three, follow the link in the description. Leave your name and email so I know where to send you the free link. And next week, I'll announce the winners. And if you want the real stuff, you go to brainacademy.com. You join our 400,000 students and start using your brain better. Are you stressed yet? No. Are you stressed yet? No. Are you stressed yet? No. Are you stressed yet? Shut up! Fancy a line? Brain out. <laughs>